Hey everyone, James back in. It's time for some more... Well, this is actually the first time I'm doing this. We are going to have an NU battle. I am accepting smog in tier, so if you haven't followed me on my Twitter, go follow me on my Twitter, because that's where I ask out for battles. You guys can battle me. Of course, we are going to be battling... Um, Oko20, I believe that's how you pronounce it, on Twitter, so... His uh, link will be in the description down below. But let us check out our team. We are using a Rotom Fan, Regirock, Magmortar, Weezing, Gorbis, and Miltank. So we are going to be using some interesting Pokemon. Of course, let's just get this battle started with this team. First time I'm doing NU Live, so I don't know what I'm doing, but I did play a bit on Showdown, and did I was liking the format. I was actually going undefeated, which is kind of weird. But my opponent... Bring the Furret! We got Regirock, Muck, Furret, Magmortar, Rotom Fan, and Ludicolo. So we got three of the same Mons. Gonna be taking a picture of his team, just so I have reference to the team. Okay. So what would he want to lead with? Not sure if Regirock is the Stealth Rock Setters or the Sweeper. I do like having my Miltank lead though. Miltank does seem like a viable lead and I'm leaning towards it. Yeah, I like Miltank as a lead. The only problem is I have to get rid of that Ludicolo as fast as I can. Then I think I can set up with Gorbis. I don't know what Ferret does in, v in this. I know it has followed me in VVC, it has Super Fang access, but I have no idea what it does in single, so this should be interesting. Muck will be an annoying Pokemon. It does get Stockpile, Toxic, or it could be the Curse set with Shadow Snake. I think that's more common in singles. Luckily, it's not Minimize in VVC since Minimize is banned in NU. Thank you, thank you Lord. But anyway, we are going to... Let's see how this goes. Really excited to be doing an NU battle. And yeah, let's just hope this does well and I don't get crushed. Because I only played NU for about a day now. So, my opponent's gonna lead with his Rotom Fan. Interesting choice against my Miltank. And that's fine because I get a free opportunity to set up Stealth Rocks. Which is what I'm gonna go for. Gonna go for that Stealth Rocks. I don't think he had any way to get rid of Stealth Rocks, so getting Stealth Rocks up turn 1 is a great deal. Now, I don't know what Rotom Fan does in NU. I know for, the one I'm running is like a bulky Willow with support, like you would see in VGC with Volt Switch to start Protect. This one could be Scarf. This one could be Scarfed. Or it could be like Specs or something, but nope, he's just gonna go for the Willow. That's fine with me. I have Seismic Toss anyway as my attacking move. Willowist is only going to get residual damage as I do set up my free Stealth Rocks. And Seismic Toss is a 4 hit KO on Rotom, even with a Citrus Berry. So, this is looking pretty good right now. I'm going to go for that Seismic Toss. No point of going for the Thunder Wave since Electric types cannot be paralyzed in 6th Gen. Yeah, 6th Gen since 6th Gen. We are going for that Seismic Toss. Guaranteed 50 damage. Rotom Fan, your max base HP... Your max HP stat is 157, even with Citrus Berry, it's a 4 KO. And if you're not running bulk, but I think you would if you're running Will-O-Wisp, that's okay with me. But this Rotom fan I do know is running at least some speed investment, because to outspeed a mill tank, you need a bit of speed investment, because you're base 87 speed, 86 maybe, and I am base 100 speed. So, he is going to withdraw his Rotom Fan, go into Regirock, completely fine by me. He might be going to set up his own Stealth Rocks. He is going to take some Stealth Rocks damage, which is fine. Seismic Toss is going to connect with the Regirock. It's going to do a decent amount. As... Yeah, that's a decent amount, actually. Is this Leftovers? If it's Leftovers, it's probably Stealth Rocks. Yes, it's Leftovers. So, I do not have to worry about... Do not have to worry about, like, uh, Weakness Policy, Rock Polish, something. Now, he's probably going to set up his own Stealth Rocks here. And I can't stop that, but I'm fine with it. Going to go into Gorbis. Because Gorbis is going to threaten this Regirock. Hard. And let me see. What else did he have on his team? What else did he have on his team? Not much. He's going to go for the Drain Punch. That's completely fine by me. That doesn't do much because... 
I'm just a bulky Pokemon. He's going to heal back with the leftovers, and I really doubt he would stay in. So I'm going to go for that Shell Smash. I do carry, and even if he goes into Ludicolo, I can get a free switch in to whatever I want. I'm going to Shell Smash. No reason not to. He's probably going to withdraw. Yep, he's going to withdraw. Let me see Ludicolo. Yep, Ludicolo is going to come out. Get a free Shell Smash, which is excellent. He's going to take Stealth Rock's damage, which is really nice. The Shell Smash is going to occur. That's a plus two, plus two, plus two. And I do have White Herb, so luckily the Special Defense Falls mean nothing. They mean nothing to me. There we go. Pop the White Herb. Now let's go for that Baton Vest. Oh, Leftovers Ludicolo. Interesting. So it's not Assault Vest. Oh, that means Ice Beam would have done a decent amount. Gonna go for that Baton Pass. Going to... Uh, pass these stats on to my Regirock, who has weakness policy, so he's probably going to go for the Giga Drain, unless Lily Cole's physical seed bomb, maybe. Don't know if they run that in singles. Maybe it's viable. I'm pretty sure it's viable. But Tom Pass is going to come out. Now, I could go into Rotom Fan. I'm actually thinking about going to Rotom Fan. But I think that Regirock is the better Pokemon. Because if I can get this opportunity to sweep, I will. I will. Let's see. The Giga Drain's going to connect. Shouldn't knock out Regirock. Yeah, it's not going to knock out Regirock. Going to heal back all your HP, but at the cost of the weakness policy. So we're at a plus four Regirock. Plus four Regirock. And if I hit the Stone Edge, I'm golden. I feel like I'm golden if I can hit the Stone Edge. Please hit the Stone Edge. I hate Stone Edge legit in singles, I think, but Regirock has pretty bad attack stats, so I need that Stone Edge. I need that Stone Edge. I'm fine with running rocks, I like Landers. Stone Edge is going to connect with the Ludicolo. Will this knock it out? It's plus four. Yeah, you're not living. Goodbye, Ludicolo. And that was the main threat to my Gorbis, so now I could actually bring out Gorbis if I want to. Now, let's see who my opponent's going to bring in next. Um, Probably not real time fan. Probably his own Regirock. I would assume it's a, his own Regirock. Regirock. Okay, I got the Drain Punch. I got the Drain Punch. And you are not weakness policy, so no, I don't have to worry about you damaging me. Gonna go for that Drain Punch. Going to gain a bunch of my health back. Oh yes, Drain Punch is gonna connect with the Regirock. I know Regirock has great defenses. Oh, you actually live. I did not think you would. But I think my Regirock can live a Drain Punch from his. Let's see. Drain Punch? Yeah, I take that. I take that like a champ. Good for you, Regirock. You're doing a lot of work in this. And I can go for a second Drain Punch. And if he switches out, I get free recovery. So this should be a really fascinating discovery. Drain Punch will connect with the Regirock, hopefully. If my opponent had a Scarf user, this would have been uh, hard to win, actually, because Scarf would knock out Regirock and outspeed with the plus two in speed. But nope, Drain Punch is going to connect with his Regirock. Going to pick up the knockout. Yes. Yes, I love Regirock right now. Regirock plus Gorbis is broken, I think. It's really broken. Let's see who my opponent is going to bring out. Fabulous. Magmortar. Oh, that's, that's actually probably a Scarf user. But it's going to take Stealth Rock, so we're good. We're good. Now, Magmortar, I don't know if you carry anything super effective. I know Regirox has not the best special defense, but I feel like... Hmm, I'm going to go for a Stone Edge. You might not be Scarf. Oh, he has Hidden Power. Probably Grass, I would assume. Hidden Power is going to connect. Will that knock out Regirox? No, it won't. No, it won't. Stone Edge. Yes, you hit. Okay, so I was talking about Scarf User. I didn't actually... I forgot he had Magmortar. It's a crit. It does not matter. It's It does not matter because what's a crit to Regirock? It's plus four. It's plus four. It's super effective. It's stab. Now, who are you bringing out? Probably Priority User. Rotom. You're not Scarf Rotom. But can I hit three? Oh, I should have went for the Ice Punch. I should have went for the Ice Punch. I should have went for the Ice Punch, because if I miss... Yeah. Guess who called that? I sh that was just dumb of me. I should have just went for the Ice Punch. Regirock is going to go down, but I have such a huge lead advantage right now. It's pretty awesome. Now, who do I want to bring out? That's the question. 
I feel like bringing out Magmortar. Uh, let's see. Who does he have left? Who does he have left? He has Muck, Ferret, and Rotom Fan. And none of them resist Lava Plume. I could go for Psychic in case he switches on to Muck. But I'm going to go for a Lava Plume. He's probably going to Volt Switch anyway. The Lava Plume is going to connect. And it, even if he Volt Switches, it's like... Oh, yeah. The Thunderbolt's going to connect with Magmortar. Should not be doing... Oh, wow. That did more than I thought. But he has the same of Rotom Fan. I'm going to get a Lava Plume off. That should knock out this Rotom. I mean, really? The Lava Plume is going to connect with this Rotom. We'll pick up the knockout. And, yeah. Goodbye, Rotom. I love this team. I love this team. Let's see who my opponent's going to bring out. Muck. Now, I will be right back because of my computer charger. Shiny Muck. Alright, sorry about that. Had to get my computer charger before my computer died. Now, Muck. It's a special wall. I feel like this... I feel like Magmortar could be useful for later. I think Weezing's a good option, because if this is the curse set that I believe it is, um, will -O will be very useful. Weezing's gonna come out, let's see. Poison Jab, okay, that's still pretty good. Poison Jab is gonna connect with the Weezing, do nothing, the Black Sludge is gonna heal us. And he has Black Sludge of his own, which is fine, I just need residual damage on the Muck. No big deal, gonna go for that will -O -Wisp. Should... Be a pretty good Weezing versus Muck. Will O Wisp is going to connect with the Muck, so your physical attack is doing nothing, but you can set up Stockpile. Or that Curse, which I did mention is a thing. Um, most likely the move set is Poison Jab. Could be Power Punch, uh, but I know Poison Jab, Shadow Sneak, and Curse are usually the moves, but I don't know what he would have on this Muck. Luckily, he does have Black Sludge, but the Burn is doing more every time. But now his physical defense is pretty solid. But you're burned. Uh, do I want to go for the Fire Blast? Or, I kind of want to switch out gain some momentum. Yeah, I'm going to go into Rotom. Let's go into Rotom, because Rotom will be doing more damage than the Weezing. And I can go for Air Slash Flinches, that's also viable. The Rotom is going to come out. We're going to see another curse. So he is at neutral in attack. Two, plus two in defense. And like zero speed. Which is fine. Because as long as he's burned. And I can get some damage off onto the Muck. He, I don't think Muck gets recover. And I don't think it's going to have rest. Do I go for the Air Slash? Hope for flinches or Thunderbolt? I'd rather get damage, to be honest. I'd rather get damage. Don't have to rely on luck. Thunderbolt's gonna connect with the Muck. Do a nice chunk of damage. That's actually nice. The Ice Punch as his fourth move. The Ice Punch is gonna do about half the freeze. The freeze. Oh, that really doesn't matter. But because now that I know this Muck probably has Poison Jab. Well, it has Poison Jab. It has Ice Punch. It has the Curse. And probably Shadow Sneak as its last move. Um, it does not have any form of recovery other than Black Sludge, but you're getting damaged by the... You're just getting damaged by the burn. So I'm going to go for another Thunderbolt. Let's see, Rotom's still frozen. That's fine by me, because he's going to go for the Poison Jab, which is fine. As Muck is healing, it is getting burned. This is going to be a bit of a slow stall. I wish I had Regirock. If Regirock was here, I would have been able to easily beat this. But Rotom does fall out. That's pretty good. Volt Switch is going to connect with this Muck. Does less damage than the Thunderbolt. But I do get a free switch into my Weezing, who I am going to go into. Just because it's a physical wall, it's going to wall anything this Muck wants to throw at it. Yet the Ice Punch just should not do anything. You're burned. Yeah. It could have gotten a freeze, but I'm going to heal back with Black Sludge. He's going to heal back, but I can go for Fire Blast. No big deal. No big deal. Going to go for that Fire Blast. Should knock out the Muck at this range. But then again, it's a Weezing we're talking about. Fire Blast is going to connect with the Muck. The Fire Blast. That's a knockout on Muck. 
Okay, so we just got Furred, and I don't know what Furred does, but I am going to go for a Will-O-Wisp in case it is a physical attacker. I think it would be special, to be honest, but it could be physical. As we are going to see the Furret. No, I don't think this thing carries Lumberry. We're probably going to see Frisk activate. Oh, no. No Frisk? Oh, it is Frisk. Okay, Stealth Rocks. Does find my Black Sludge, but that was already common knowledge. Going to go for that Will-O-Wisp again. Because I have no reason not to. Double edge, yep, it is physical. The fern's gonna go for the double edge. And Weezing is gonna take that like a champ. You're gonna take recall. Will Wisp is gonna connect. Haven't missed a Will Wisp, thankfully. Which connects with the fur. Now that fur is pretty much useless. You have no chance. The timer's ticking down unless you have like rest or facade. If it had facade, I'd be like really impressed right now. Gonna go for that sludge bomb onto the fur. The double edge is gonna connect with the Weezing. Will it get a crit? No crit. No crit. You're taking the recoil. The sludge bomb is going to connect with the ferret. This should pick up the knockout. Oh, it doesn't, but the burn will knock it out. So, great game to my opponent. Definitely check him out on his Twitter. Give him a follow and tell him that he battled greatly against me. Uh, we did have our first battle in NU and... Yeah, that was exciting. I mean, I really like the format. 5-0. Not bad for our first battle. But anyway... We will be doing more battles in the future. If you guys want to battle me in NU especially, feel free to follow my Twitter. And if you guys follow my Twitter, you can battle me on my channel when I ask out for battles. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this NU battle. Well, this Pokemon Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire live Wi-Fi battle. Check out my other stuff. Check out my VGC content especially. And yeah, I'll see you guys next time.